As a New Orleans Saint, Delvin Bro quickly earned the respect of the league and fans with his play at cornerback. He had some highlights. Now Bro says he's at a low point. I'm going back to eating cereal. You know, I'm going back to eating things that 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 that's a survival, right? You know, I'm eating canned food, man. So, you know, and I never thought I'd be back to doing that. After injuries and leaving the Saints, the New Orleans native had been playing in the Canadian Football League since 2018. Then the pandemic shut everything down. Bro says he last got paid in November 2019. Many of us watched Bro here at the Superdome on Sundays. And because he's a professional athlete, maybe we had a different image of him in our minds. But Bro says you never really know what's going on in people's lives. Man, people are struggling, dog. I'm struggling. You know, and people don't know my case. Oh, you have money. You, I don't have money. Ask child support. Ask spousal support. Ask paying bills. I got bills. I, ask all them people where, where the damn money go. On Twitter this morning, Bro urged the mayor of New Orleans to help people facing eviction, including himself. Bro says he has until the end of this month at his apartment in New Orleans. I have to find ways to make myself pay rent and to make sure I have a roof over my head, not just my head, but my son's head as well. You know, like a couple months ago, man, I was almost living in my car. Families for Families, a new public-private partnership, is now trying to raise $6 million by the end of the year. It's trying to prevent evictions by providing 4,000 families some rental assistance. Advocates have identified about 20,000 households considered housing insecure during the pandemic. The city has already spent millions of dollars for rental assistance as well as homelessness prevention and stabilization, but it's just not enough. The need is far outpacing the amount of funds that are available. Delvin Bro has overcome odds before, from going undrafted to playing for his hometown team. You know, I'm a big, big believer in God, and you know, I just ask him for, for guidance and, and, and to help me pay these bills every month. His latest challenge of avoiding eviction may not be glamorous, but it's perhaps the most important so far. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News.